Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Making the Music with Marty Smith and the American Christian Country Music Association. We're glad you're here, and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching each show. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And just go to YouTube, look for Ed Heavens Country Radio, and subscribe. And keep in mind, if you send hate mail or, or hate messages, I will have to delete you. Unfortunately, in the world we live in today, you do get that every so often. But would love to have you subscribe, take a look, and enjoy. Watch me on the morning as well, 7 a.m. Central Time, as we play great Christian country music Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Time. So we've been talking about radio and how do you get your songs on radio and what constitutes a good song. Well, tonight uh, in this video, I want to talk about marketing and promotions and the importance of that. How important is it? But first, I want to tell you about a big event coming up March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. It's the American Christian Country Music Festival at the Capitol Theater in Lebanon, Tennessee, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And we want you to come and be a part of it and have some fun with us, okay? Go ahead and register today at AmericanChristianCountry.org and reserve your booth space. There is a cost for the booth. Now, what does that do for you? Well, the booth ensures that you can put your product up there and sell it if you want to, okay? You can put your banners up. You can pass out your business cards. You can meet with the fans. You can take pictures, autographs, the whole nine yards. But it also gets you access to sing on the stage at night. And there you'll be able to sing in front of a crowd, a whole new audience for some, and share your music. Plus, it will get you the Artist Appreciation Lunch on Friday, and it will get you in the seminars as well. So... I highly encourage you to go to AmericanChristianCountry.org and sign up, reserve your booth today. We've got a few spaces left, and we'd love for you to come and be a part of that. Now, another question I've been asked is, is this only for artists, promoters, and songwriters? No. This is for you, the fans, as well. And here's where it gets really fun. Every night, 6.30 p.m., you're going to get to see some great talent in Christian country music. That's a great country songs as well, and country stars. So starting at 6.30 p.m., Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, you'll get to see Todd Tillman, Corey Farlow, Brassville, the Music City Quartet, Jim Sheldon, Bev McCann, and more. And for those of you that get booth space, they'll be singing as well, and you get to see them on stage. So for the fans, get your tickets, 10 bucks a night. If you get all three nights together in one bulk package, I think they take $5 off. So $5 savings, 25 bucks for three nights of concerts. That's amazing. It's definitely worth a trip. We got people coming from New York, from New Mexico, from Texas, from Ohio, from all over coming to this event. And we want you to come too and have a good time. The American Christian Country Music Festival, March 2nd, 3rd and 4th at the Capitol Theater in Lebanon, Tennessee. Just want to let you know about that. So, marketing, promotions. Find out more by coming to the event, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. The seminars that we'll have, one of those are marketing and promotions. How do you get your stuff out there? Now, I don't know a lot about that. That's not my forte. I can tell you my experience and what I do, and I can tell you what other artists have done, and hopefully that'll help you a little bit, okay? So the question that I get asked a lot is this. What's better? Websites? Or print? Do I advertise on a website or do I advertise in a magazine? Both have benefits, okay, and both have downsides to it as well. Now, let's say you wanted to uh, advertise a banner on Heaven's Country. It's 25 bucks a month to put a banner on Heaven's Country. We link that to your website, and our job is to direct traffic to your website. By doing so, a small investment, investment in your ministry, it helps our ministry grow as well. We get the word out, and our job is to share that information with other people and direct them to your website. That's what we do, and that's what it's designed to do. Now, keep in mind, I tell people this all the time when they want to purchase a banner on Heaven's Country. That banner, purchasing that banner does not guarantee you airtime. It does not guarantee that your song will be on the charts. It does not guarantee you extra play. Purchasing that banner for advertising does just that. You're purchasing advertising for your product. 
is what you're doing. You are not purchasing for airplay for me to play your songs. You will never hear us here on Heaven's Country say, for X amount of dollars, I can put you somewhere on the charts. We won't do that. It's unethical. It's wrong. And for a station to tell you that, to take your money and say, oh, I'm going to give you number one on the charts, I would run. Because my question is, why would you pay someone to put you on the chart? Hopefully you have more faith in your music and your ministry than, than that. So that's what we do. You buy a banner, small fee, 25 a month. We ask a 12-month commitment. You come on there. We put your banner on our advertiser or our artist page, and we hyperlink it to your website. My job is to direct people to your website, and that's what that does. Now, as far as print, if you wanted to buy print in a magazine, let's say you've got an event coming up, and the magazine says, we've got space in our magazine. We'd love for you to advertise here. Tell people who you are. You're up for an award. You could win, yada, yada, yada. Here are some questions that I would be asking. One, what is your readership? How many people subscribe to your magazine? Two, for the cost, what does that cost get me? Now, there's different prices. You could get a business card size ad. You could get a quarter page size ad, half page size ad, or a full page size ad. Each cost is different. I don't know what those are. That's between you and the magazine. And quite frankly, it's none of my business. But you have to look and see, is that a good investment in my ministry for the moment? Who am I reaching with this ad? If your goal is to get in the industry and reach industry people, I'll just be honest with you, most of these magazines are geared toward the industry. So a lot of times we're looking at putting that in and, and advertising to our peers. You know, unless they have a lot of readers that subscribe to that magazine, most of the time you're probably going to be advertising and, and speaking to your peers, songwriters, musicians, artists, groups, and so forth. But is it worth the investment to you? Is it worth the cost to you? That is something that you have to answer. The other question is, how many times do you want to do that? Do you want to do it just once a year, once an award show? These are questions you have to ask. For me, being a radio for so long, I've learned that in advertising, you need to keep your name out there all the time. That's why I tell people 12 month commitment on Heaven's Country. It's to benefit you because if I can keep your name out there for 12 months, then people are gonna know who you are. My audience will know who you are. They get used to that name and they'll go, we'll go over there and check out their website. If you advertise for a week, you're probably not going to get the same results. In fact, I guarantee it. So that's something to think about as well. Longevity. How long do you want to keep that ad out there? So again, is print more beneficial for me or is advertising on a radio station uh, over the airwaves or website more beneficial? You have to ask yourself that question. Find out more. Go to AmericanChristianCountry.org and find out more. It's AmericanChristianCountryMusic.org. And you can go there, find out more. Register for the event, American Christian Country Music Fest at the Capitol Theater in Lebanon, Tennessee, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. We'd love to see you there and get your booth and get your tickets for the nightly concerts. Fans, we want you to come out, enjoy the music, have some fun, take pictures with your favorite artists and get to know them, get their autographs, buy their product, and uh, just have a good time. It's going to be three days of fun. And we'd love to have you there. Come join us. AmericanChristianCountryMusic.org. And stop by the website and register today. Get your tickets. Uh, there's a discount if you get all three nights paid for at once. 10 bucks a night, 25 bucks for all three nights. Also, uh, YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel at Heaven's Country Radio. Subscribe. And again, we'd love to have you. Keep in mind, if there's hate speech or anything derogatory, we have the right to uh, delete you and block you especially if you're going to be mean. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we live in a world where that happens. Keyboard warriors who like to make their threats, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so just keep that in mind. But we would love to have you subscribe and would love to have you watch the morning show weekdays, 7 a.m. Central Time on Heaven's Country. Guys, have a great night. Join me again next time for another edition of Making the Music with the ACCMA. I'm Marty Smith. 
You guys have a good night. Thanks so much for tuning in.